podcast. Hi, Assalamualaikum and good a uh, good day to all i radio oum listeners out there okay so it's exactly 3:30 pm and you are now listening to hazra in the talk um special talk segment okay for your information today we just started our new segment for new semester uh uh-huh, january 2011 so to welcome our new and senior learners i radio is gladly yay and happy to have a special guest today in i radio county to give a few words on welcoming remarks to our student okay so today we have um professor dr manso fazil our senior vice president oum so how are you prof uh, fine thank you okay so how was uh, how has the new year been to you so far uh, it's been good a lot of <laughs> challenges but yes. i really look forward to uh, what we call celebrating this new year <laughs> okay so hope so now prof as we all aware new semester january 2011 has just begun and the first tutorial will inshallah begin this weekend yeah mm-hmm. okay so perhaps you can share with the new student especially on oum delivery method because i'm sure some of them are still confused and not sure what are the methods that oum used thank you siti hazra okay. first and foremost i would like to extend a very warm welcome mm-hmm. to our senior learners yes i hope uh, you have had a nice break and are now ready to start a new semester mm mm-hmm. I also would like to welcome say welcome to our new learners. Huh? I'm happy to introduce you to the UOUM community. Mm-hmm. And I also would like to extend a very warm welcome to our new as well as senior tutors. Mm. And as far as OUM uh, delivery method is concerned, as mm-hmm. everyone is aware, we practice something called blended pedagogy. Mhm. comprising of uh, self managed learning this is yes. where the learners learn on their own mm-hmm. by reading uh, the module by discussing with their colleagues and so on mm-hmm. <coughs> and then of course we have e uh, learning this is where the learners go online right they read the html module the post question mm-hmm. the forum right they learn from each other as well as from the e tutor Mm. Last but not least of course is the tutorial session the face to face tutorial. Yes. This is where the learners are expected to go to the learning center mm-hmm. once a fortnight and at the learning center they will be assigned a tutor who will conduct tutorial session for about 2 hours for each subject. Mm. Based on our past experience we noticed that under the previous practice Uh, where they meet five time 2 uh, mm-hmm. hours per meeting 10 hours right we find that once the f- last tutorial finishes the learners has got very little time mm, uh, little to actually time. do their own study to prepare for the exam and uh, we notice that based on past experience our learning center directors a lot of challenge mm. to prepare the schedule mm-hmm. for the learners last but not least because of this uh, constraint we find that it is almost impossible to process the assessment marks as well as the examination mark huh? mm. in a timely manner also we do get requests from the student for more lecture hours okay as well as request for less uh, lecture hours oh less lecture hours okay About a year ago we have come up with a good semester system which is a 20 week semester mm-hmm. whereby they study for, for five, 15 weeks right mm-hmm. and then break for 5 weeks and uh, we found that that semester is good and we can really leverage on that semester if we were to reduce slightly the face to face the face to face but then uh, last year we were not quite ready but this year we feel that we are ready to do it because why right? because we have improved the quality of our e content mm-hmm. we have improved the quality of e learning yes. html file i lectures and so on right? so we have consciously decided to reduce just a tiny wee bit just a 20% right? from 8 from 10 hours to 8 hours from 5 meeting to 4 meeting mm. by doing so we feel that we are not compromising on the quality of teaching and learning because we make it up with quality e content quality e tutors and so mm-hmm. on and what is even more important right, by doing so we believe that our learners will have more time to do their revision prior to the beginning of the exam 
uh, session mm-hmm. and also by doing so now we have more time to grade the assignment and we are hoping to release the outcome of the grading before the examination start before before okay. the examination start this is the first time mm-hmm. ever we are doing it and another good news is by doing so we ought to be able to release the examination result just before the new semester oh, start so it's all good news, news for our learners <laughs> right it's a small compromise but the benefit i think far outweigh yes. that small compromise okay hopefully all right um prof now um Can you another thing yeah can you share with us how about the assessment system and what's the evaluation system will be mm. uh, can you please explain for <coughs> this year 2011 mm-hmm. we have uh, decided right to okay. put in place an assessment system uh, we have discussed we have deliberated over the matter for almost half a year all right but now we have come to an agreement whereby almost every program mm-hmm. offered by OUM right about 90% of the assessment mm-hmm. will comprise of assignment and final, final exam, examination right? okay. about uh, 30 to 40% marks for assignment and we're talking about uh, 70 to 60% marks mm-hmm. for final examination the remainder 10% of the courses will be assessed based on uh, midterm and final, final exam, examination right? final examination mm-hmm. so only 10% Is it for uh, um, every course or uh, courses or and, uh, certain courses? For in 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 a, in a program, right? You have about 40 courses, right? Okay. So we're talking about 30 plus courses. 30 plus assignment courses. plus final, mm-hmm. between five to six courses, right? Uh, uh, midterm plus uh, what you call uh, final. For mm. MQA courses, it'll be entirely assignment and final. Mm, right? I so I think it's all good news for the learners. They learn by doing assignment, mm-hmm. and since they're going to get the, re- the result of the assignment before the exam, right? Mm-hmm. They can tell how well they are doing before sitting for the final exam. This good feeling thing, right? If yes. they have done well in the assignment, perhaps uh, they can afford to relax a little bit for the final. Mm-hmm. If they didn't do so well in the assignment, right? Then they can put more effort in the final. If they have done well in the assignment and they want to score really, really good grades, right? Then we work hard for the final. But then, uh, when it comes to assignment, there is this issue of plagiarism. Yes. We have overcome that, right? By asking the learners to submit their assignment, what we call answers, online, so that we can do similarity checking. Mm-hmm. And the grading will be done in a centralized manner to make sure that it is graded in an objective, fair, and transparent. And uh, the other thing is that almost all assignment there will be a rubric. In other words, right? There will be a criteria, criteria for criteria. awarding marks mm-hmm. and. Uh, The rubrics together with the mark will be revealed to the student before they sit for the final exam. Okay, so there you go, listeners. Hopefully, the explanation from um, Prof Manso is useful and clear enough for you to study hard and work hard. Okay, we're going to take a small break. Don't go anywhere. More coming up after this song. Ooh. 